Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can create this amazing winter style portal design in Photoshop 2020 to add a little bit of creativity and surrealism to the festive season. And I'm going to start right now. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is James and if it's the very first time to this channel and you want to learn all about Photoshop, Lightroom and everything photography related, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So this tutorial is all going to be about how to create this amazing winter style portal design in Photoshop 2020. Now when it comes to this uh, creating this effect you're only going to need two things. So the first thing you're going to need is a background photo. Now you can use a photo that you've taken yourself or if you'd like to use uh, any of the photos that I'll be make sure you go to the link in the description and you can download it for free from there. And the second thing you're going to need is a portal overlay. Now there are so many uh, on the internet but if you'd like to use the ones that I'll be using, uh, which I think are the best way of creating this effect, then again, go ahead to the other link in the description and you can download it from there. But without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do is choose a background photo. Now if you'd like to choose the photo that I'll be using in this tutorial so you can uh, follow along step by step with the same image, uh, just go ahead to the link in the description and you want to find this photo which is a nice photo of kind of like a, a snowy stream uh, which is perfect for this kind of winter kind of style portal that we will be making. And then if you want to use any of the assets that will be uh, to create the portal effect, we've got photo one, we've got photo two and we've got photo three and this will create the, a very similar effect to uh, what I have today. So once uh, you put it all together, it ends up looking like this, which is great. So I'm going to show you step by step on how we've uh, made this effect. So if I just go ahead and just delete all of those layers, so we start with the background layer. Now the first thing we want to do is work out how large the portal will be. So what we want to do is drop in uh, the portal onto the image and then adjust it uh, accordingly. So we're going to want to drop uh, the ellipse, uh, which is kind of what I, uh, is a photo of a, an eclipse uh, uh, that I found. So what we want to do is drop that onto there first. And as you can see, the background is all black. So what we're going to be using is blending modes. So we want to go to photo two, and then we want to go to uh, blending modes options. Uh, we've got normal at the moment, and we want to drop it down to screen, because screen removes black, but keeps everything with either color or white. So as you can see, we've got that there. What we want to do is press Command T on our keyboard or the free transform form tool. And we want to move it around and make it to the right size that you would like. So I think, I think we're gonna go for there, that's perfect. So the second thing we want to do is we want to uh, place our next our portal kind of uh, I, um, asset. So we're going to drop that there. And what we want to do is we want to drop this in front of uh, the uh, main portal circle and we want to match the size. So again, we want to go into our blending mode options and we want to go to screen. And as you can see, it's removed everything from the black apart from the color. So again, what we want to do is press Command T or the free transform tool and we want to make the portal to the right size. So as you can see, what I mean by that is by just matching the two circles up with each other. So we're gonna go for about there. Perfect, so we've got those two matched up. As you can see, the bottom of this, we've got this reflection we don't really want. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a layer mask. So we're gonna to go to our photo one, we're gonna to go to our layer masks, and we're gonna get a nice big soft brush so we're going to go for something about that big. I'm just going to remove that area that we don't want. So we're going to go along like so. Perfect. Right, so we've got the, the size, but now we want to start colorizing the photo to make it look really natural. So what we're going to do first, we're just going to turn off the two layers and we're going to colorize the background to kind of make this kind of nice, kind of snowy, misty scene. So we're going to go to our background layer. We're going to go to our curves. First, so we're going to go to make an adjustment layer of curves. And what we want to do is just bring down the whites quite a lot and then bring down the mid tones, make it quite dark, like so. That's perfect. 
Now what we want to do is kind of colorize it and add a little bit more of maybe blues, maybe some cyans in there. So we're gonna to go to our uh, adjustment layers and we're gonna to go to color balance. Now color balance is split into three tones. So you've got middle, mid tones, highlight and shadows. And we're going to want to change the colors independently from each other. So if we go to go to our shadows first, shadows we want to add some blues. So as you can see we've got our blue channel here, we're going to add, I think we're gonna add around 10, which is perfect. And then maybe a little bit of cyan as well, perfect. Right, so we're gonna to go to our mid-tones. This is predominantly maybe the trees, and maybe the darker parts of the snow. So we're going to add, uh, I think maybe if we go for a 25 there, and then adding maybe a little bit of blue. So we're gonna go for that. That's a bit too much blue, so we'll drop that down to five. And then we're gonna to go to our highlights. So this is all the white areas. So this is the snow and this is the sky. So uh, we're going to add quite a lot of cyan. So I think we're gonna go for that amount of cyan, I think we're going to leave the blues there. Brilliant, so if we turn that off, and again, as you can see, this created this nice kind of misty kind of blue scene. But there are a few more things, we want to create a nice vignette. Now, two ways of creating this vignette, but we're going to be using the curves layer, it's a little bit more customizable. So we're gonna go back to our adjustment layers, and we're gonna go up to select curves. And then we want to make it nice and dark, so we'll darken it again. We want to remove it from the in, from the middle and just keep the outside. It's just like what a vignette is dark around the outside. So what we want to do is create a gradient. So if we press G on our keyboard, or you'll find the gradient tool on the left-hand side, we want to go up to the top here. We want to make sure that we've got our radial gradient selected. And we just want to draw from the outside all the way out here. Lovely. And as you can see, and then we can start customizing it, making it a little bit larger, maybe a little bit softer, something like that and then if we turn that off and on again as you can see we've added a little bit too much so we can always try that again so we create a new uh, mask and we're going to do like so perfect right so then when we place our uh, portal back in again as you can see it's really kind of brightened the portal up really nicely and kind of made it a little bit more uh, it, it, it's reflecting more of the environment and more of the theme of the image Right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to colorize the portal. So we've got our foreground and our background of our portal. We want to colorize them independently from each other. So we get this nice kind of uh, double color appearing. So what we're going to do is just turn off that and we're just going to work on the eclipse portal section first. So what we're going to do is go down to our adjustment layers and we're going to go up to select hue and saturation. So we're going to go and have it to select that layer. And then we want to go down and press on uh, this button just at the bottom here what it will do is it will create a clipping mask so it just affects that layer so next thing we want to do is we want to go to colorize and then we want to just move the saturation up a little bit so as you can see it's changed it and then what we want to do is go to our hue and just find the right hue that you find with the right color so i think a nice kind of cyan -y blue something like that works really nice with this image brilliant and then once we've done that, all we need to do is duplicate the same colours to our previous, uh, our foreground portal layer. So as we do that, we're just going to clip it by holding Alt and going in between the two layers. And if we turn that back on, as you can see, we've created this lovely kind of cyan-y, teal, kind of blue looking portal. But what we're going to need now, uh, next, is we're going to create a reflection. So what we want to do is create a group of the entire portal and then we want to duplicate it. So we're going to uh, find where our photo 2 is, we're going to find where our top of the hue saturation is, and we're going to press Command G. Or you can go up to uh, the top here and select uh, and make a group. So once we've made that group, we're going to want to name it. So we're going to name it Portal, like so. What we're going to do is want to make a duplicate and then we want to reflect it onto kind of where the water will be. So we're gonna press Command J on our uh, keyboard. And as you can see, it's duplicated it. But what we want to do, do is completely flatten it. And the way to do that is to press Command E, or we can always go to our right hand click, uh, right hand click on the side there. And then we just want to go down to Merge Group. So once we've merged it, as you can see, it's created this effect. We want to change it back to screen again. So what we're going to do is go to our uh, blending mode, and we're gonna go change it back to screen. Now what we want to do is completely flip it. So we're going to press Command T or Free Transform, and then we want to go to our height, and all you need to do is just press a minus beforehand. And what we'll do is it will do a minus 100%, which will completely flip it upside down. And then what we want to do is just move it 
to about there. Perfect. So now we've placed that there, what we want to do is kind of blend it into the water because at the moment it's not looking very realistic and it doesn't really look like um, a reflection at all. And the way we're going to do that is creating a blend if option. So what we're going to do is just double click on uh, the layer here and it'll come up with our um, layer stylizing box. And then you can see at the bottom here we've got our blend if options. So we want to have a look at our blend underlying layer and we want to remove all of the reflections from the dark area and just keep it in the light. So what we're going to do is just move that to the side. And as you can see, it's created a nice reflection, but it's a little bit too harsh. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, hold down Alt, and as you can see, we can split these uh, together, apart from each other, and we can create a nice even gradient from uh, light to dark. So what we're going to do is just move that along there. We can probably raise that up a little bit more. And then lovely brilliant and there we go so that is how you can create the reflection but it's a little bit too sharp at the moment so we want to add a gaussian blur effect just to get rid of that sharpness so we're going to make sure we've got our portal copy selected we're going to go down to filter we're going to go to blur and we're going to go to gaussian blur and then what we want to do is add quite a subtle blur so maybe between two and five pixels so just have a look just to get rid of the sharpness from there because some if you look into a reflection it's never completely sharp because as the water is moving it's reflecting in different ways and creating this kind of blur so we want to kind of replicate that in photoshop so uh, i think 2.5 pixels work nice for this image perfect so we're uh, almost done but what we want to do now is add in a, this nice kind of snowy theme and then again we want, what we want to do is just place it onto screen so we're going to go to our background we're going to go to photo 3 which is the uh, snowy scene that we've uh, got here and we just want to simply drag and drop that onto the file. And once we've done that, if we just press enter, as you can see again, it's all black. So we want to remove the black and keep the white. And how do we do that? By placing it on the blending mode screen, because screen removes black but keeps white. So we're gonna go to our blending modes and we're gonna go drop it down to screen. Perfect, and then you can see it's created this nice effect, but we need to have it covering the complete image. So we just want to increase the size. So we press Command T on our keyboard, which is free transform. We're going to rotate it at just 90 degrees, just because this is a portrait image. And we're just going to increase the size. Lovely, brilliant. But it's, again, it's a bit too strong, it's a bit too much snow. So all we need to do is just lower the opacity down slightly. So we just lower the opacity down just like so. So I think that's just enough, so maybe around 30-40%. But we want to remove the snow from the inside of the photo because uh, we want to kind of have it focusing on the portal. So what we're going to do is create a blending mode, uh, we're going to create a layer mask, and what we're going to do is create a gradient, very similar how we created the vignette. So what we're going to do is just create a uh, layer mask there, and then we're going to go to our gradient tool, so that's G on our keyboard. Uh, or if you find it on the left hand side, very previous how, how we created curves. And then what we want to do is make sure we've got black selected in our, in our foreground layer. And we're just going to remove it from the middle, like so. Now that could be a little bit too strong. So what we can do is we can just change the opacity of the gradient to maybe if we go for 30% and we try that again. So we're not removing everything. Lovely, brilliant, and there we go guys. So that is how you can create this amazing winter style portal effect in Photoshop 2020. Brilliant, and there we go guys. So that's how you can create this amazing winter style portal design in Photoshop 2020. Again guys, if you want to use any of the assets to create this effect, make sure you go to the link in the description and you can download it from there. Again guys, if you want to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It really, really does help my channel grow. Also, if you wanna hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my latest content. Also guys, if you want to have a look at my Teespring store, I've got loads of designs on there. I've even got some portal designs. So if you want to go ahead and have a look down there, I've got the link in the description. And I'm updating that every single week. But until next time guys, keep creating.